Hi Capricorn, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for November 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in this month of November 2021 and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, some months your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Ascendant, and Capricorn Moon. The tarot cards I'm using in this recording is the Tara Muko Tarot Muko Tar Tarot Muka Tarot deck. This reading is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. I'm using the Tarot Muka Tarot deck in these readings. All that being said, Capricorn. Now on to your November 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have, Capricorn, is the Five of Swords. So this is standing your ground, drawing a line in the sand, standing up against any gossipers, naysayers, or detractors. It can also be, you know, like standing up for yourself. You could, if there's a battle with an or an argument or a fight you're likely to win you know some of you capricorns may feel like you've been jilted and this could be by a lover or a friend or a family member or a co-worker and this has caused you something that's happened has caused you to not trust what they're saying to you anymore or that you don't believe in them you don't trust them or believe in them now and you may have growing suspicion about a particular person uh that could be hurting other people maxi is right there on the floor snoring for you capricorns in your reading you may feel like there's been you may know someone or be witnessing someone that you feel has been abusive to somebody uh, or they've been abusing their power. This could be even powers that be out in the world you could feel that way about. It's like uh, you have some suspicion. Uh, you're watching every move. Now, again, that could be out in the general world, but it could be for very specific people in your f life, in your circle of your personal world. Keep in mind, if these predictions don't make sense to you, I could be really talking to Capricorn rising or moon sign people here. So always good to watch your rising sign and your moon sign if you're finding that the messages for your sun sign aren't resonating with you. You may feel like you've done everything you can to help this person out and you may feel like they've backstabbed you or that they've um, abused your you know, like friendship or you ab abused, they may f you may feel like they've abused your friendship with them or your relationship with them in some way. And you may come to the point where you're going to hold them accountable, give them a talking to, you know, having a conversation about it. Some of you could be making waves in another area of your life where uh, in a career or work related sense where very similar messages are coming up, like you don't trust what's going on. Or you may feel that there's been an abuse of power. And you might be like really super cautious and protective of yourself where you're like, I don't want to get accused of anything. 
uh, and your my guides are saying hindsight is twenty twenty. So I feel like you've witnessed some things that you're like, uh, man, I shouldn't have said that, or uh, or even if it's not happened to you, you may have witnessed somebody else make some decisions or moves that you're like, <laughs> I saw what happened to them when they said that and spoke up or did this or did that. And I'm going to learn from that and not do it. So you got to think, where is this happening to you, Capricorn? You have the king of pentacles next, which is likely you. This is so the King of Pentacles is either a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. So it's likely to be you, but it even could be another Earth sign in your life. It's kind of like November is bringing uh, some kind of energy to you where Capricorn needs to understand themselves better. You may be wanting to understand your motives, your motivations, and what makes you tick. You may feel challenged, and this may be causing you to figure out what is your next move, what's your next course of action. You may feel very adamant that you don't want to be pigeonholed in a particular group. Now, this could be a religious group. It could be a group of specific individuals based on other factors. Whatever it is, you know, race, religion, I don't know. But something, some group, grouping, you don't want to be pigeonholed in that group. It could be some kind of group at, at your job where, like, you're the rebel group or you're the... You're the conforming and following along with all the rules group, or you're the, I don't know, like, let me skip out as, and get out of as much work as I can possibly get away with not doing, like skipping out group. You know, like, you, it's something, some of you really don't want to be put in some kind of group or category. And you may be even trying to show uh, clients customers, if you have, own your own business, or even if you work for somebody else and you have clients and customers, or higher ups and bosses, that they've got you all wrong. Like they're putting you into the wrong category, the wrong box. Like they don't have you figured out the way they think they do. You may be really, really inspired in November and perhaps beyond, because timing is different for all of you, to demonstrate and be really um, charismatic and demonstrative about your talents, your knowledge, your skills. You may feel very driven to express that, express your knowledge, express your talents, express your skills in November and beyond. Some of you may ask for more money. You may be asking for more money at your job and getting a raise, but if you have something for sale or you're going to put something up for sale, uh, let's say it's a house and maybe they told you, yeah, you should list it for, you know, $250,000. You may decide, I'm not listening to that. I'm asking for three ten. dollars you know, like, but asking for money, for more money in some way, or, you know, maybe somebody owes you money and you're like, you, you owe me money. Now you actually have to give me interest. I don't know what, it, where you're asking for more money, but that comes up here as well. You have six of swords next, which does indicate moving. So maybe when I pick up asking for more money of selling a property or selling something, it could have to do with this because Six of Swords could be moving from troubled shores to better shores. It could be also indicating a move of your home. It could have to do with commuting for work, long distance travel. You could be checking out another area to see, hey, do I want to go move there? 
you, you may feel like everything needs adjusting. Everything needs fine tuning. You may not feel happy with the way certain things are working. And this could be in your business. If you own a business, it could be uh, in your home environment. It could be with technology where are you looking at in your life where you're not happy with how things are working and they need tweaking uh, and adjustments this could be in love relationships or other types of relationships it's kind of like i see capricorns being it's my way or the highway i i, I don't feel that you're going to be very flexible about things, either things that are going on in your work, things that are going on with family, things that are going on in clubs, groups, or organizations you belong to, or in friendships. There's like, so if somebody's trying to impose their will on you or get you to do things their way, I don't feel that you're going to be really keen on doing it if it doesn't uh, jive with you and what you think and want and believe you're not going to be so inclined to do it. Some of you may feel like, you know what, I've got to stop fighting a losing battle and I have to get out of here. And that could be, you know, reminds me of this card. So you may feel like you're fighting, maybe there's arguments and dissension with you and superiors or higher ups or whomever at work. And you're like, I can't deal with this. I got to get out of here. Could be in a living situation, could be in a love relationship. I feel like you're taking a look to see what's better for you elsewhere. My guides are bringing that up. So it, that could be like where you're living. Maybe you're like, this neighborhood has gone to crap. I don't like living here anymore. Or this province or state or country or city. You may feel like things are really not good there and have fallen apart. And and you're like, I, I need to find better shores. It, it does come up here. And I feel that you could be doing a lot of research. And if you know somebody that lives in another city, town, state, province, country uh, that you're thinking of moving to or going to, you may be really asking them a lot of questions. What's it like? You may go visit them or an area near there. You may start doing a lot of research about the demographics of the area uh, what work possibilities there are for you, and etc. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. The next card you have in your reading Capricorn is the Nine of Swords. And this could be um, grieving the loss of a breakup of a love relationship. It could also be migraine headaches, sleepless nights bad dreams. You could be not feeling well. You could be worried about somebody else not feeling well. You could also be grieving the loss of something else. It doesn't just have to be a breakup. You may feel like making a lot of adjustments and changes to your life feels very, uh, could feel off-putting and uncomfortable for you. And you may have wished that things would change in a different way and that, but yet you keep getting sucked into something that you don't like. Uh, it could be family issues, family arguments. You could be, uh, keep getting dragged into those kind of issues or think problems with clients, customers, bosses, uh, coworkers, uh, I don't know. It, it could be even people on social media. <laughs> you could be 
you know, that's a hotbed now. If you don't like what's going on, what side of the fence are you on? You know, that's like uh, battles of wills and opinions are running rampant there. So you may be like, I got it. I can't get sucked into that. You know, that could have posed a problem for you recently. You may feel like uh, you're worried or concerned that you overstepped your bounds in some way. Maybe you said some things that you wish you could take back. Maybe you, you know, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. Think about where could you have overstepped your bounds? You know, maybe you, you could have made some moves you shouldn't have made. You could have said some things maybe you shouldn't have said. This could cause you stress uh, because you may, it may make you unclear or unsure about what your future holds. That could even be just what this card means all by itself for you. It could be I'm unsure and worried about what my future holds. But it could also be if you overstepped your bounds in either words or deeds that you said or did that now you're wondering, oh no, what does my future hold? I feel that Capricorns have watched, uh, my guides are saying, watched some kind of relationship deteriorating. It could be one that you were in, your own love relationship or your own family relationship or your own friendship relationship or your own business relationship, but it could be you could have witnessed this happening to someone close to you also. You could watch like someone you love and care about. They could, you know, maybe you have kids and their marriage is falling, their marriage is falling apart or their relationship with their children is falling apart. It's so you're either witnessing it or it could be happening to you. So the last card you have for November of 2021, Capricorn is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is a card that means giving generously and freely to others. It can be receiving generosity and charity from others. It can also indicate uh, the balance of give and take. Sometimes this can mean financial success coming to you in the future. I do feel that some of you are marshalling your strength and your forces and you could be giving some money charitably to charities, could be, uh, or it could be people in your life that need financial assistance. Some of you might be quite incensed as to why certain people are not getting help. So you might be mad at, it could be at the powers that be that run things. You could be quite mad at them uh, and, you know, wanting to start some kind of GoFundMe page or a foundation or something like that to raise money to help people that you feel they are in dire need and they're not getting the help they need. And some of you are actually donating your own money and doing it. If you're trying to sell a business, if you've had a business and you want to sell it, I feel that you will get a good price for this business. Somebody will buy it. If you're struggling, I feel somebody will give you a leg up on your finances. They, you could get a loan. You could get an advance on your salary from a boss. I don't know, but I do feel it could also go the other way. If you're looking for some help, financially, I do feel like you'll get it. You may be even contacting people that are in the powers that be and writing to them or calling your, you know, local state or province. I don't know how it works in the provinces because I live in the states. You're calling or contacting your local representatives to get some things going that you believe need to laws that need to be changed or uh, funds that need to be given. Um, you could be contacting higher ups, in, you know, in 
uh, governments that you want to get them to institute programs or give more financial aid to people. You know, if you're on that train in spring or summer, now I'm in fall right where I live in the Northern Hemisphere. I live in the Northern Hemisphere on the East Coast. But I'm hearing this could really get instituted and start happening in spring or summer. So my guides are talking about my time frame. Spring or su that may not be spring or summer for you where you live. But so to me, that would be anywhere between the end of March, you know, March, April, May, June, July, August, and until like the 20th of September. So that... It may not be instantaneous, but I'm getting that time frame of when something could actually come through in that regard. Some of you could receive a bonus, a commissions check, a raise. It could even be, like I said, even an advance on your pay from an employer is possible here. So the uh, best gemstone crystal that came up for Capricorn for the month of November 2021, you've got Bloodstone. So Bloodstone is a grounding and purifying stone. It wards off negative energy. It's a protective stone. It strengthens the immune system and it invigorates the blood and energizes life. It's also a good stone if you're dealing with any kind of financial situations or financial concerns and you're worried about protecting your finances. Uh, it's also a good stone for that. It's going to give you some kind of boost that you need, Capricorn, to your ego. It's going to help you release frustrations. And my guides are showing me a balloon uh, that's full of helium. And it's like you're, the, the frustrations are in that balloon. It's going to let that helium out. This is going to help you release frustrations. It's also going to help you dissipate anger. So remember, you had this come up in your reading. You could have some kind of, you know, uh, standing up against somebody or speaking out. So if you want to go about it very judiciously, this stone will help you instead of going about it when you're raging with anger. It'll help mitigate anger. It's also going to help benefit your aura and your skin complexion and your aura if you're wearing this stone. And when I say work with this stone or wear it. I've told you guys before, but some people are new to the channel. You could put it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra when you meditate. Also wearing it in a beaded bracelet or next to your skin in a pendant, you gain the most energetic benefits from when the stone touches you and you can sleep with it under your pillow and or carry it in your pocket. So uh, this does look like a good gemstone for you based on the messages that came up in your reading. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And if you like this video, please click like and share it with those with whom you may feel would benefit from my psychic readings. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and please check to see that you're still subscribed because sometimes I hear from viewers that YouTube has unsubscribed them and click on that notification bell when you do subscribe so you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. Now, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here, you could get the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages and the most recent video series that I record. I always post those links down below in the description box. 
These video links are also available on my website, theluckymermaid.com. And you just go to that videos page and you can read what, uh, what the uh, topic of the reading is for, what divination tools I've used and how long the predictions go out for. And you just click on the zodiac sign you want and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now in these videos, I focus on very specific topics using a variety of divination tools. The most recent video series I've recorded in the links down below is going to be first off my psychic crystal readings for November 2021 for each sign of the zodiac. When I stop each video and uh, stop the recording for your sign, I then go on and do an extended reading in the crystal. So you might want to check that out. I also have October uh, psychic crystal link down below also because these predictions, as in the tarot cards, they can happen for people at different times because you don't all have the same birth chart. So timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. So my most recent video series I recorded after the, uh, bef you know, next in line to the crystal readings is my full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 2021 psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions go out for six months. I pulled four tarot cards. The first card is what's ending for you. The second is what's beginning. The third card is your blessing. And the fourth card is what is your karmic lesson. Then I look into my crystal in the video, and then I go on to pull a Wisdom of Avalon oracle card for each sign and a gemstone crystal uh, for each zodiac sign to see what's the best gemstone crystal for you to work with where over the next uh, three to six months. My Uranus retrograde in Taurus psychic tarot readings, they go from August of 2021 until January of 2022. The first card is what's your challenge during this Uranus retrograde in Taurus, what is the changes that will come for you? What's the blessings and what is the outcomes for you? Next, my seven card horseshoe psychic tarot spread, psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac, where I used seven cards. And the first card is going to be what's your past influences. Second card is what's your present, what's going on in the present. The third card will be hidden influences. The fourth card is obstacles. The fifth card is what is the outside influence affecting your sign. And the sixth card is suggestions from the spirit guides to solve some things going on, or that would be helpful for you to know. And the seventh card is the outcome. My angels, ancestors and ascended masters psychic oracle card readings for these changing times um, i'm using four angel based oracle cards in those readings and i found them to be quite unique uh, whenever i do angel cards the messages are quite uh, i don't want to say they're totally different than the tarot but they are uh, i don't know if i want to say bigger messages or uh, they deal with like a lot of different themes internally what's going on in you and uh, maybe about your past psychologies or psychologies that are affecting you what's to come uh, many people have found them interesting so you might as well if you didn't check them out yet you might want to my saturn and aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings for three years from December of 2020 until March of 2023. So we're in the thick of this Saturn in Aquarius. So if you want to see how it affects your sun sign or your rising sign, you might want to check those out. Uh, my mid-year psychic tarot readings for 2021, those predictions are still happening. We're still in that time frame because I recorded them, I believe, in June and they go until the end of this year of 2021. Also, my mid-year love update for 2021, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings, those predictions, I think I did those in July, and they go out until 
they, they definitely went until the end of this year. And I think in some of the signs, it even went a little bit past that. Now, if you uh, also my career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions went out 12 to 18 months in time, and they go all the way, I believe, until November of 2023 uh, or two. Maybe it was November of 2022. Um, and then my, uh, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides, you're not going to see here. You can follow me on my social media pages at the lucky mermaid LLC on Facebook and the lucky mermaid underscore Pam George L on Instagram. I usually do those in writing once in a while. I'll do a video, but I prefer to write those. Uh, I do so many videos on YouTube and on Vimeo that I kind of like to be able to write down the predictions for a change. And they're usually five paragraphs long. Now, some people ask me, well, what sign is this for? If you feel compelled to go look at it, in those five paragraphs, there's a lot of messages and predictions in there. Uh, I believe for most people that go there, they find something resonates with them, maybe the whole entire message of that tarot card or crystal or oracle card that I've used, or parts of it make sense to them. So I hope you'll check those out. And I just want to say here, I know you guys are probably tired of me saying it, but I'm tired of it happening uh, weekly. It's weekly. Sometimes it's daily. There is, I don't know if it's one account or a couple that are fraudulent and they keep downloading my pictures on Instagram and they keep making accounts that look exactly like they're me and then they follow my followers on Instagram and then they'll later on proceed to solicit you for a reading to see if you want a psychic reading. Please know this is not me. They have misspelled my name or misspelled Lucky or Mermaid or added a dot or an underscore or some weird thing at the end of the th thing. It's not me. I don't contact any of my followers on Instagram. I don't follow. I may follow one or two in the beginning. I think I did. But generally, I don't follow my followers on Instagram. And I'm certainly not contacting anyone on social media to see if they would like a private reading. If you're getting a contact like that, you need to report them to Instagram and block them. I cannot do it because they block me so I can't see them. So I need the only way it gets stopped and that you don't get scammed is if when it happens to you, you report, you report this account and block them. I cannot answer everybody that DMs me. Many, many people DM me and they, and I appreciate it because then I know what's going on. But the problem is if I can't see their account with my own eyes and go to it because they've blocked me, I can't report them. So please, please block and report them. I'm hoping one day this will stop. I seem to be on their radar for some reason. They really want to work over my followers. I don't know why, but you guys get really targeted from these fraudulent accounts. I, I, you know, this is identity theft and fraud, and I'm really shocked that um, they can just keep getting away with it. I don't really know how to stop it. I've reported them when they don't block me, but when they block me, I can't. And uh, I don't know. There's probably no legal recourse or else they wouldn't, they wouldn't keep doing it. So sorry to bring that up again, but it just keeps right on happening. So uh, another thing I want to add here is thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. I do truly appreciate it. It does help a lot. And if you would like to donate to my channel, there is a donation link down below all the video series I've mentioned in the description box. And if you want to make a donation, you can click on that and it's connected to PayPal. So I hope you all have absolutely phenomenal energy and blessings that come to you this month of November 2021. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.